You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani, held a telephone call with the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Expatriates of the State of Palestine, Dr. Riyad al Maliki. They discussed the latest Palestinian developments and the Israeli attacks against the people of the city of Jerusalem and the rest of the occupied Palestinian territories. The minister reiterated the Kingdom of Bahrain's strong condemnation of the attacks launched by the Israeli forces on the Gaza Strip, expressing the condolences of the kingdom to the leadership and people of Palestine for the martyrs who were killed as a result of the Israeli attacks and wishing the wounded a speedy recovery. The foreign minister expressed Bahrain's solidarity with the brotherly Palestinian people, stressing the position of the kingdom in support of the Palestinian cause, believing in the right of the Palestinian people to establish their independent state with East Jerusalem as its capital, on the basis of the principle of the two-state Arab solution and Arab peace initiative, and in accordance with the relevant international legitimacy resolutions. The minister also expressed the Kingdom of Bahrain's welcoming of the invitation extended by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to hold a meeting of the Executive Committee of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation at the level of foreign ministers to discuss developments in the Palestinian territories and the Gaza Strip as a result of the continuous Israeli attacks launched by the Israeli forces in the West Bank and Gaza Strip, stressing Bahrain's support for the constructive efforts made by the Arab Republic of Egypt to reach a ceasefire between the State of Israel and the Palestinian factions in Gaza. For his part, the Palestinian Minister of Foreign Affairs and Expatriates expressed Palestine's appreciation for the position of the Kingdom of Bahrain in support of the Palestinian cause and the right of the Palestinian people to establish their independent state, praising the strong condemnation expressed by Bahrain on the Israeli attacks in the West Bank and the Gaza Strip, appreciating Bahrain's support of the Palestinian people's rights in these difficult circumstances. The Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Islam bin Abdullah Khalaf, affirmed that the ministry's approach to food security aims to raise local production through a number of initiatives in the field of agriculture, fish farming and livestock, stressing that the private sector is a key partner in translating initiatives in the field of food security, noting at the same time that the use of modern technologies has helped in overcoming many obstacles and challenges. Regarding the agriculture initiatives implemented by the ministry, represented by the Agency for Agriculture and Marine Resources, the minister noted the importance of the expansion of the use of modern agricultural production methods through the adoption of soilless, soilless farming technology, as the number of greenhouses has reached 356 and produces 3,600 tons annually of various types of vegetables, which provide 134 jobs and contribute to the self-sufficiency rate of vegetables by 10 to 20 percent. He indicated that this initiative aims to build a generation trained in modern methods of agriculture production, improve the social and living standards, raise self-sufficiency and deepen the national sense of providing food security, as well as raising productive of efficiency and strengthening partnership with the private sector. He also stated that the fish farming project is one of the modern methods of increasing the contribution of local production to achieving self-sufficiency in fish, which is an important source of food in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The project, which is to be established on an area of more than 1 million square meters, aims to produce up to 9,250 tons annually of different types of fish and will create 63 jobs and contribute to a self-sufficiency rate of 50 to 62 percent. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 826,000 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 621,000 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 15,505 with 1,279 new recoveries and 1,369 registered new cases and three new deaths. 442 of the new registered cases were expatriates, 911 were contacts of active cases and 16 were travel related. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.